What's going on, everybody? This is the Ground Up Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron, and this is Keisha Rock. And this is episode 25, folks. So we we, so we get we, we moving along. Okay, <laughs> we're getting we're getting episodes on the on the docket. So all right, y'all. Today we have Nicole Sykes, owner of Cole's Plants on Church Hill, a nursery and gardening store. Welcome, Nicole. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Good. So I know before we started recording, you were saying that you just got back from Florida getting plants. Yeah, we flew. Well, I flew down Sunday. Wow. Went to all the shops today. Um, well, what's, it, what's today? Sunday. Yeah, went to all the shops and drove back. Girl. Man. Well, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for sharing your story with us today. No problem. Um, all right. So before we get into cold plants. I mean, it's having a great response in Richmond, right. but I want to know, give us some background on who Nicole is. Okay. Um, I am the mother of three. I have three boys, Beautiful. Um, Isaiah, Elijah, and Terry. Um, Elijah's a Marine. Terry is a student at SIU University, runs track, and he has his own tennis shoe store too called Lit Kicks. <laughs> okay. okay. We, we coming for you next, Terry. Okay. <laughs> well, he's in Columbus. Um, I also own child care centers. Um, I've been doing that for the past 12 years. Um, I just sold one of them when I came down here. Wow. And my middle son, Elijah, went to the University of Akron for early education. So he's running the centers while I'm gone, coming back and forth. Oh, wow. Man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, that's dope. The whole, the whole fam. Yeah, the whole fam. That's dope. But and you raised them. It together, yeah. yeah. Y'all doing it together. That is amazing. So entrepreneurship is not new to you. No. So, all right. Tell me, did you grow up around entrepreneurs? Did you have a circle who were doing things like what, what inspired you to know you could do that or go out on your own? Um, I just had a lot of people around me that just was like, you know what, no matter where we from, we just going to make it happen. So okay. that's something we always say we'd like make it happen. Like people be complaining. I'll just like make it happen. What else can you do? Like you complain about it. It don't work. So you just got to find a way to make it happen. That's exactly. true. Wow. <laughs> that is true. So we have the Reggio philosophy, which is based on like teaching the kids to learn from doing things at home. Gotcha. Um, so in all my classrooms, we have plants, we have home material. So the kids are learning through their life experiences. Love that. Of having all these toys floating around. Um, so my father actually has done landscape all my life. Okay. So when we were younger, Every summer, hair sweated out all <laughs> summer long. You went to work with that. And at some point, like it turned into a love for plants for me. Okay. So it's a hobby for me. It's not, oh, I went to school for botany. Like I don't have a degree. Yeah. I just enjoy it. It's peaceful. It's relaxing. And it's just something that I really love doing. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> so I love that you like, you literally grew up just being outdoors and you took your passion, but you you know how to make your passion into a business. Yeah, I mean it's lucrative. Don't get me wrong, but ain't nothing like being at peace. Right. Oh, <laughs> ain't nothing like coming in and feeling like you ain't working all day. And when I come in, I don't I don't feel like I'm working. I still Ooh. get to decorate. Right. I still got the plants here. Come in, I do yoga. I open up, and it's just it's a beautiful thing. Like I'm just enjoying my days. Wow, that is beautiful. I love what you just said about peace, though. Peace of mind. I mean, you can't put no dollar sign on peace of mind. Right. No, you can't. Like, everybody wants the money. They don't want to do the work. But ain't nothing like being at peace, like, and being happy to come in. Like, oh, okay, I get to go through this today. I'm about to see how this works today. Like, that's that's the joy that I'm looking for for now. Right. Yeah, yeah but that- it's one thing to talk about it and to do something it, about it. I wasn't right. working. So I'm sitting at home, chilling all day, but I want to do something, but I wasn't working on it. So I'm talking to my sister. I was like, yeah, I was like, I want to, I want to do this plant shop. I wanted to do plants and coffee initially, but I really don't know enough about coffee to be able to say, oh yeah, let's do this too. And then I had the support from my dad that I could like really make this happen. Um, My sister was like, stop talking about it. And she said that in like October. Make it happen. (laughs) So then we came down. I looked for a building. Um, Churchill reminds me of an area in Columbus. It's called German Village. Super diverse, old homes, brick streets, all the mom and pop restaurants. So it was just like this perfect fit for me. Like 
I'm still here, but I'm still kind of feeling like I'm at home. Yeah. Here. So it's it wasn't as hard as sometimes people think. You need to write down a plan, make a budget, see where you can make some sacrifices at because it seems like it might be kind of difficult, but nine times out of 10, the money's everywhere. Yeah. Um, I know in Columbus, we have something called ECDI and I think y'all have the same thing here. It's um, economic and development and they help like minority business owners get loans to open up businesses. Okay, we're going to put that in the show notes, guys. <laughs> yeah, and they walk you through the processes. So sometimes it's just about making a plan. Like once you write it down, for me, it's a plan. Right. Yeah, and then like you just said, though, it's about also finding out what resources out there. You know, that's that's the whole reason. That's one of the reasons why we want this podcast to reach listeners is we want to give you a resource. And, you know, when you talk to people that's done it, like you, you know, you know about a resource that I'm sure there's people that's listening. That's like, I had no idea that existed. Absolutely. Yeah, and, um, What's the biggest challenge you've had to overcome? Well, in life, <laughs> but I admit in the business, but your face is telling me that you're thinking about in life. <laughs> um, life was being a single mom for sure. Mm. Can I just say, Ooh, so <laughs> I'm not a single mom, obviously. But I tell you, I always knew single mothers deserve respect, but it wasn't until I became a mother that it's a respect on a whole nother level. It is hard. It's hard with a partner. And I got a good partner. He stepped out right now, y'all, because he's sending to the baby, you know, so to do three boys props. And I had their father was there. So it's not like their father wasn't there, but it's, it's nothing like dad being in the home. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. So um, I think that was like, I, I know that was one of my hardest challenges, like finding this happy balance where I could still teach them to be them, but mm-hmm. be smart enough not to do some other stuff. Yeah. So that was tricky. Now everybody's grown and everybody's decent. So I'm like, okay, we did it. You must have did something, right? No. I mean, other than being a serial entrepreneur, you've got to feel so proud of your of being a mother. Yeah, it's just they're happy. Like my middle son is engaged and I'm just like, oh, my God, he I see him and his fiance and they happy. Yeah, they don't have a million bucks, but he's happy. He's doing what he wants to do. She's doing what she wants. And so for me, any sacrifice that I made along the way was it's it's just perfect now. I don't even have any grandkids. So everybody's like, when the grandkids come, I'm like, oh, no, let me hit hit 50 first. (laughs) So what skills did you bring to the business to starting Cole's Plants? And what skills did you have to learn or are you learning along the way? Oh, my God, I am learning this ordering thing. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to keep it's totally different. Retail and early education is so different. Yeah. Um, the customer service piece was there, but just knowing what to order, who's going to deliver it, like me driving all the way down there, that's just because I don't know the process and I'm trying to learn it. So like while I was down there, I was talking to other people that own plant shops. Um, I have one lady that's going to try to help me out with the order. And she was like, no, you know, you need to look at what's selling at this point and then you order ahead. And it's just things I just didn't know about the business. I thought, oh, okay. I have something that people want to buy. They're going to come buy it. But then someone posted us an RVA plan. um, I mean, the RVA experience and I was sold out. Oh my goodness. I didn't have another order because I just didn't know. Yeah, you're learning. And when did you open? um, December 27th. Oh my goodness. Nicole, you are learning. You are fresh meat. I mean, when you opened, I mean, how often were you thinking you were going to have to buy plants? And did you, when you started this, did you even know where to get plants in bulk no yeah like I mean I wouldn't even know where like I mean I guess you don't go to Lowe's you know (laughs) I was just doing a lot of research online um and then just going through the process like okay who delivers like okay how much is freight going to be like just a lot of stuff that I just didn't anticipate originally Mm -hmm. so um that part I think is extremely tricky but I'm gonna catch it I'm gonna catch it yeah, I believe you are. Give me about 90 days. I'm going to have it down. <laughs> yeah, I believe the you The amount of love and support that I'm getting from RVA. Yeah. And for me, for me not to be from here, yeah, it's like literally crazy. I've had over 400 customers. Oh my and God. I don't, Since I did, December. December 22nd. I know my mom. End my of step- December. Yeah, my stepmom, my dad, my two sisters, and my brother is the only pr- people I know here. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, well, you know us now. <laughs> <laughs> and then the RV, like the RVA plant club posted me. Um, I had no intention on moving here. None whatsoever. Oh, I wasn't, so you were just going to open the business and go back? I was going to open it up because we knew at some point my dad was going to retire. Okay. So I was like, okay, I can do this with his help. Then once he retires and he can just be in here every day, I can go back to Columbus and, you know, just be my normal self. But when I came down here, girl, y'all got so many restaurants that are mom and pop. <laughs> we do. We have a lot. We Well, we're a foodie team, so you got all your restaurants. But then we also just have a lot of small business owners and everyone collaborates. Everyone supports each other for the most part, you know? Oh, so, no, sure. Um, yeah, love that you're loving the culture of Richmond. That makes me so happy. Yeah, like I met the little boys that own Chile. Like I'm going in there and I'm telling them that I'm opening up a plant shop. And he's like, oh, yeah, we be doing marketing and stuff. So if you need some help, just oh. come over here. If he ain't got the money, I'll just help you. And I was like, that dude, he doesn't even know. You know what I mean? He didn't know me. Right. I mean, everybody has like shown so much support, like just retweeting, reposting, like stopping in, even if they don't buy anything. Oh, we just want to come check you out. We heard it was super dope. When I get some money, I'll be back. That right there is just, that means a lot to me. Right. Like, Dad, you thought to come by my shop and come check us out, even yeah. though you wasn't going to buy anything, but you still wanted to see it. That's dope. I well, just, I wish everybody could be at peace. Mm. You know, we, we dealing with COVID, like, everybody the parents are stressed out like I don't think sometimes people think like how they kids feeling can you imagine like how they feel they can't go to school they can't hang out with their friends they got to sit in the house all day like just trying to find that happy balance of peace with everybody because once you grab it it's a wrap you ain't worried about nothing else right. what do you think the key is in finding that peace of mind being comfortable with yourself Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. yeah that was deep <laughs> mm. Girl, you hit the nail on the spot. Yeah, I was married and now I'm divorced. And that kind of broke me down a little bit. But after that, I was just like, you know what? I just want to be happy. Like, if that, if me being married, ain't, I'm not happy, then I'm just not happy. You know what I mean? I'm not married no more. It's just that simple. And I got to be myself. Like, and I don't want to change who I am for nobody. Absolutely. Um, I run around. So, yeah, I think that's just like the number one key like man just be comfortable with yourself don't worry about what nobody else thinks and i think richmond has a lot of that yeah absolutely. compared to some other places like it's so much art and culture here like yes. it's just different so where would you like your business to end up in the next few years uh i've been thinking about that so um <laughs> so my cousin that's here she wants to open up a shop in baltimore um, and we've been talking about that, but I'm so worried about um, losing what I want to do every day. Does right. that make sense? Like, I want people to come in and have this experience. I don't want to hire people that don't care about customer service or, you know, do you like the product that you're getting or am I just trying to push you out the door? Like, I want people to come in and feel good about themselves. Like, oh, OK, hey, thanks for coming in again today. Like, genuinely, like, I appreciate it. So I don't want it to turn into something where people don't feel that. Where it's just an in and out business. Yep. Right. So I'm, I'm probably going to be right here. Hey. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go any bigger. I might get a little greenhouse or something. That's about it. But other than that. You're going to um, be right here. I love that. That's yeah. Dope. And I love it because we need more safe spaces in Richmond. Like, I feel like I could walk in there and feel accepted and feel, you know, at peace and, and that's the type of business I want to support. Yeah, are my customer base is all over the place. And I'll be so happy. I'll be like, hey. <laughs> and, they, <laughs> <laughs> and it don't bother them. I play what I want to play all day. We going to have a Jay-Z day. Ooh. That I mean, that's just what we do. Whatever right. is on my mind, that's what we listen to. I respect the kids. If they come in with the kids, I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, like, I don't know. It's just. It's joy. That's it. Joy is joy. Well, let's get joyful and play this game. You ready? All right. I'm ready. All right. Would you rather this or that? This or that? Leggings or jeans? Leggings. <laughs> oh, leggings all day, every day. <laughs> Would you rather switch businesses with a spa owner or a, shop or a shoe store owner? Shoe store. <laughs> I mean, I know that now because of your son. <laughs> She's like, I'm already plugged in. <laughs> All right, this or that: McDonald's fries or Chick Fil A fries? McDonald's. Oh, they got the best fries. Man. <laughs> 
It's something about the waffle fries for me, though. <laughs> All right. Would you rather spend a half a million dollars on a dream home or a dream trip? Dream trip. Dream trip, really? Yeah, I'm traveling. I'm in the box. <laughs> oh, I love that. 